Good morning everyone. Today I'm going to be speaking on the effect of poverty on children's education in India. Uh, in my day-to-day -day life, I see children, poor children begging, selling and working other people's homes instead of going to school. But I think that there are many more advantages in education when they go. Uh, they will be able to find better jobs, which means that they will have more money and they will be able to support their families and also be able to uh, get sh provide shelter for their family. The, the children will be able to pursue a dream in which they can go to school and study. As Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Education is not a luxury, it's not a mortgage, and it's also not a business. It's a basic fundamental right. Now you might be thinking what the government is doing to help. The government is providing free education of children uh, ages 6 to 14 years to go to school and also, uh, private schools are supposed to allow 25% of their total seats for poor children for free. Now you might be thinking, even though the government is helping... <laughs> said that they had become a parent, 2% said that they had a lack of parental involvement and 30% said that they had started high school poorly prepared by early schooling. These are the bottom five educated countries in India, Bihar, Telangana, Arunachal Pradesh, Rajasthan and Andhra Pradesh. Astonishing fact, in 2002, 35 million children didn't go to school. Now in 2016, even though the government has increased the encouragement of poor children, still Two million children are not educated. There are many children looking for a chance to get educated. You can help them by giving them a chance in supporting organizations. I do not think about my day. I feel free. 